Hi, I'm Mark Donovan from HomeEditionPlus.com and today I'm going to show you a simple kitchen remodeling tip. So what we're going to do today is replace this old light fixture with a brand new kitchen chandelier. The first thing we're going to do is turn off the circuit breaker to the light. So the next thing we're going to do is remove the nuts to hold the cover plate to the light, existing light fixture. Next we're going to disconnect the wire nuts that are holding uh, the wires to the light fixture. Next we'll remove the screw that's holding the ground wire to the mounting bracket. Next we'll remove the old mounting bracket from the fixture box. Next we'll install the new mounting bracket to the light fixture box. Next determine the length of chain you're going to need and then open up one of the lengths to separate the length of chain that you need from the remaining portion of the chain. I'm using a pair of pliers to do this. Next we'll take our section of chain material and put it through the loop on the chandelier itself and then tighten up the uh, link with the pair of pliers. Next we'll adjust the nipple height and the hex screws and then tighten up the collar mount to the appropriate height so that the cover plate sits about halfway up the collar mount. Next we'll slide the threaded ring and the canopy over the chain um, that's connected to the chandelier. Now we're going to hang the chain on the collar loop and then tighten up with a pair of pliers. Now we're going to thread our wire through every other loop of the chain and then up through the collar loop and into the light box fixture. Now that we've threaded the wire through the screw collar and the nipple, we're going to attach the ground associated uh, with the fixture box itself and the light fixture itself to the green nut on the mounting bracket. So now we're going to attach the smooth uh, wire coming from the light fixture to the black supply lead coming out of the fixture box and tie it off with a wire nut. Now I'll take the ribbed insulated wire coming from the light fixture and attach to the white wires in the light fixture box and again tie it off with a wire nut. Now we'll push the wire nuts up into the light fixture box and then slide the canopy up over the mounting bracket and then use the ring nut and tighten it on to the mounting screw. Next we'll separate the chandelier, chandelier sections into about 120 degrees separation from each other. Now we're going to attach the globes to the chandelier fixture itself. Now I'll install light bulbs into the chandelier itself and we're nearly done. So with the circuit breaker turned back on and the switch on, we've completed our chandelier light fixture. This took about 30 minutes to do and really has dressed up our kitchen quite a bit. If you have other home improvement questions, visit us at homeeditionplus.com today.